Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and we're back in Bayonetta. We're going to be getting Record Fanatic. I'm going to show you where to get records 4 through 7 to uh, accompany that other video I did of 1 through 3. Okay, Chapter 5, Verse 2, we're going to get our first of three pieces. And it's one of those ones that you can't miss. You just got to fight Grace and Glory for the first time, and after you beat them, I'm not going to bore you with the fight, your first little piece of the LP will show up. And there it is. So walk into it, and uh, just like... I don't know why I bothered showing you this. Just like a so, and doopity doopity, there you go. First part of Sonnet in DK448, which is, you know, everyone's favorite catchy little tune. Okay, verse 5, chapter 5, we're going to get piece 2, and this is when we fight Harmony. Okay, hold on a second here. After we beat Harmony, once again, not going to bother you with the fight. It'll pop up, can't miss it. It's right in front of the fucking yellow door you got to walk through. And as you pick that one up... You're two thirds of the way towards this one, and I, I'm not sure what weapon you get for this uh, for this one. I think it might be ice skates, or maybe the whip. Anyway, now we go to verse ten, and this is one of the ones that you could kind of miss. It's sort of hidden. So as you're going up uh, this uh, stone snake staircase kind of thing, run over here because you want to pick up your book, and then uh, after you get that, run around the back, and a not ex not very cleverly hidden. Uh, crypt is there, and inside it will be the final piece, which you need to complete Sonnet in DK448. Now, moving on to Chapter 6, Verse 1. This one you could miss pretty easily. As soon as you start, turn around, and behind you is another one of those little uh, Cryptio deals, and inside of it is going to be your first piece of your fifth, hit, your fifth record at this point, I think. Yeah. And then Verse 4. Five, I think, is part two. Anyway, I, I couldn't remember which verse it was, but it's right after you use your uh, panther to go through the door, and then you're down in this area. you got to figure out how to get up there to chase the little girl. Run over here, and this is the first one I actually missed. It took me a little while to find. Hidden behind some rocks. So go ahead and grab that guy. And look at that. We're already two-thirds of the way towards uh, this LP. And actually, this is the LP that gives you the super cool ice skates which I don't know if you uh, are familiar with, but they're fucking awesome. Okay, verse 9, you uh, beat that dude. It's right here in this room. You can't miss it. It's one of those ones that pops up for you, so you don't have to do any searching to find it. It's right there. And uh, congratulations, because once you get that one, you get a pretty awesome weapon. Now we'll move on over to chapter 9, and we'll get the last one that I'm going to show you, which is number 6. And the reason that is is because uh, your 7th, LP you get for beating the game on hard. It's just awarded to you when you beat it on hard, and I, uh, I'm honestly, I'm not going to beat it on hard, so uh, I'll just have to tell you about it. Okay, after you put the key in the big uh, big sphere, and it makes the golden rings that go up to the top you have to climb, take a right, just like you saw me do there, run over, and uh, hidden behind the uh, sun logo on the wall you got to bust through is part one. And this is a good one uh, to get because, well, you know, it works towards an achievement, but also it gives you the rocket launcher, which is awesome. This is another one you can't miss. You have to fight the two, like, Viking ships. And after you do, don't fall like I did, you uh, get this guy. Like I said, can't miss it right there in front of you. But the next one is pretty fucking easy to miss, actually. So let me show you how to get that. This is the last piece. This is another one that took me a little while to find. Um, okay, here we go. This is a verse, uh, um, I don't remember which verse it is, but you can't miss it here. It's when you're uh, being attacked by that big glob dude and they want you to climb up that golden thing. Instead, jump kind of over and around it and under, if you can see there. It took me a little while to figure out how to do. Uh, there's actually, I went the wrong way, but you can see it back there. That's where you came from. You're supposed to just run up that little golden walkway, but instead, if you kind of go around it and under it, you can come over here, and you can see I have my ice skates equipped now, and they're awesome. And then bust through this, and uh, there we go. We get our last piece for our sixth LP, and... We get rewarded with a uh, really cool rocket launcher weapon. Now, like I said, your seventh one you get for beating the game hard. This game's kind of misleading because there's actually nine of these things. You also get an LP for uh, completing 100 chapters of the game, and then you get another one called Pillow Talk, which is a sword, which is totally awesome, for beating the game on Infinite Climax, which is the level harder than hard, which you unlock by beating the game on hard. You don't need either of those to get the achievement. You just need to get uh, the seventh one for beating the game on hard, and then you get Record Fanatics. So there you go. Enjoy.